Your team is banning. The enemy is banning. Hey guys, Teresla has been one of the most forgotten fighters in the game for a while, but despite that, I always felt that he was quite fun to play from time to time. So when I heard that he was getting buff as well, I couldn't wait to try him out. In this match, I'll be playing him as the jungler, but as you saw from the intro, our marksman wasn't exactly too thrilled about it. Understandable though. It might seem like a troll play at first glance, but he is quite legit as the jungler. But not gonna lie, their composition does look much scarier than ours. It makes this even more interesting. What a great way to start the game. Teammates not knowing what roles they are playing. Smiley face. Now that the buff spawned 3 seconds sooner, it gives enough time to clear the small chem as well before the lethal spawn, but only if the hero is a fast jungler and the roamer is helping as well. In darkness. Triple kill. Anyway, now Teresla's second skill is really good. It slows down the enemies a lot more, and the next swing won't be interrupted even if you are crowd controlled. That's a huge improvement from the old version. Although there is a jungle creep available, I thought there is a good chance I can catch their top laner if I move now. It might be too late by the time I clear the jungle first. Julia managed to escape, but that's okay, because I got a bigger fish instead. Our marksman has been very quiet. The world. Interesting. In darkness. Ah! It's just a moment. Ah! Checking if I can still go top to join the fight. But the fight is long lost. Might as well lower the mid turret as much as possible. I'm pinging my team to come to the turtle since about to spawn. Not ideal to take the turtle without any backup, so instead I will gain the bottom lane.
Valon probably saw them taking the turtle. Let me pull it towards our side so we can have better vision of their movement. Darkness. Let's kill him first, or at least lower his HP enough so he back off. Even if you are the tank, you should know your limit. I don't want to take the turtle at this time. If we don't kill it, the lord will spawn at 8 minutes and we can have a very early lord. I think I will make an advanced tips video to include a lot of these little tips that hopefully will take your gameplay to a higher level. Cute. I was extremely disappointed when I saw that they conceded so early. My disappointment was immeasurable and my day was ruined. But the show must go on, so I decided to play a few more games with Teresla, and once again as a jungler. Surprisingly, and also surprising, I played 4 more games with him and only lost once because of a very inexperienced trio. I will show the most interesting one out of those 4. Since it's another gameplay, I will try to compress it as much as possible and only show you the juicy parts. Once again, I'm facing a Balmond jungler who is extremely popular nowadays, but he's about to be overthrown by Teresla. Let's ignore the lethal for now and go for the enemy's head instead. This time, I do need to clear the jungle first because I need my ultimate to secure the kill. This seems like deja vu. But this time, the jungler is getting quite fed as well. We need to kill the jungler first before taking the turtle. Our temp seems to be quite inexperienced and does he know that he should reset it instead? He 
it's okay. You cannot always expect the random tank to be experienced. Hopefully by giving him some pointers, he will learn eventually. They are doing the turtle, but unfortunately nobody is paying attention. This time, the team is a little bit inexperienced, but it is what it is. You just gotta accept it and play on. No point whining about it during the game. I will always choose a good tank over a good DPS any day. The enemy has slain the turtle. Has they are getting quite cocky. This is usually when we can strike back. It seems like Franco wants to hook me. I need to watch out. Nope. Nathan seems to want to go back top to farm. Let's just wait here. Good thing that our cloth is paying attention. That's why tank build is the meta now. Once again, always kill the enemies first and not just keep attacking the lord like a dummy. I'm gonna ignore those two for now and aim for the backline instead.
It's okay to kill your tank first when he's so out of position like this. We call a bigger fish now. He's dead already. My first skill gonna kill him. Let me help my other teammate instead. Terisla is a very legit fighter now. Even with full tank build, he can still dish out tons of damage and of course sustain a lot as well. Also, he's extremely powerful during the team fight with all the AoE skills he has. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.